Hey, welcome back. Oh, it's been crazy. We have two new puppies. Uh, we've had them since uh, middle middle two weeks, I think, of May. And uh, they're amazing. And I, I was doing a video. I'm finally, uh, when I do have free time, I tried to do a video. And I was in the middle of doing one. I uh, hit pause. I was doing some research as I walked into the kitchen to get some ice water. Looked out the window and... Maple, the brown puppy, was walking down the street outside of the fence, and I have my yard fenced in, and so I panicked, had to run out there, and so I've been on, now that she knows how to get out, I had to first uh, fix that, but then uh, I'm on puppy guard duty now, whenever I'm not uh, busy. Uh, so anyway, so this is Out of the Box Chief. I just wanted to go over something real quick. Uh, you can tell us out of the box because like here's their uh, default uh, save plan views and all that stuff. What I want to do is show you something. Uh, most people probably know this or they might or they might not. Um, this is going to be a rectangular house. And I don't know if you noticed, but I, uh, well, I guess you wouldn't notice. I started drawing with the uh, right mouse. And if you take any courses from Dan Bowman or if you watch his designer's show on Fridays, uh, he's a big proponent of uh, start your drawing of a wall with your right mouse button. And then the, uh, the wall stays sticky to the mouse. So at, as you click where you want to stop and then you keep going, then you can just left click, left click, left click, and... You're done. You don't have to click to start, drag, click to hold, that kind of thing. So it's just a little quick little tip. Um, what I what I was wanting to show though is um, I didn't know that not everybody knew this. So right now, all these rooms that you see right here, they're all unspecified. So if you double click. So you can double click to get this menu or you can highlight the room and then come down to this door and click this and get the same thing. Or you can have a shortcut key, a hot key, whatever they call it, and hit that and it opens it up. So there's several ways. And I, um, I also have this mapped to a stream deck and I'm sure you could map it to one of those 3DX super mice. Uh, but, uh, so let's, and I'm going to show you something real quick here too. Whatever you pick in this column, it just puts that text right here and that becomes the default for the room. So I'm just going to say, go ahead. Um, let's just go with that. So that's a bedroom and you can tell it's out of the box cause it's using the chief font and Dan Bowman invented this font and sold it to chief. So he's got some definite street cred. Um, that we're going to make this another bedroom, but I'll show you what I like to do about that. Double click, open this up, go to bedroom. And if you were to create a table or a uh, schedule by room, you don't want to have the same name because then you're just going to have bedroom and bedroom and bedroom. So you're going to define this. And when you define it and you make a copy, all the attributes that are set up for a bedroom go with the copy. So what I'm going to do is space one. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually name this DRM. So it's bedroom one. Okay. And it's going to function as a bedroom. And that's another nice thing is if you pick a room and you have some, like, say you call it bonus room. You can come in and say, well, what does a bonus room do? And here's the function. So if the bonus room is like living room, then you would pick living room. But since we're doing the bathroom, I mean the bedroom, there you go. There's the bedroom. Hit OK. So now we've got bedroom one. Then I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to OK. OK. And uh, ooh, that sounds like 24. I'm going to make one more. Oops, I don't want two. I want three. Okay. 
Okay. And then uh, this one here I want to rename. So I'm going to call it um, Bedroom 4. Okay. So watch up here. I bet you this changes. Are you ready? Look at that. Is that scary or what? So we're going to go back up here. I'm going to make this bedroom one. I'm going to make this bedroom two. And guess what? I'm not even going to use, this is a default system. This name, like on uh, brochure plans, this is the default text setting that Chief does. And I don't even care for it. What I like to do, and this was recommended by several different people on uh, Chief Talk. Let's pull that open a little bit. Take rich text click in here um, oh you know what we're still in chief blueprint I can't stand that here's another little trick they x15 came up with this edit replace fonts these are the fonts that uh, are in this plan right now and we're just gonna go with Arial. now I'll tell you what on on the Mac I really like clean simple uh, fonts and so what I really used to do, I'd use SF Pro Text. But if I have to share this plan with somebody, they're going to get an error message. Like, here, watch this. Um, is that the one I like? It's one of these SF ones, but it's an Apple font. And it's made for, like, their um, their phone and their watch and all that stuff. So they'll end up having an error. That's not what I wanted. Uh, what did I want? Oh yeah, right here. I want to replace the fonts. So uh, instead of using that, the safest bet is everybody has Arial on their machine somewhere. So there you go. Nice clean, always use Arial. Unless you're using a special um, macro from Alaskan Sun because I asked him I'll show you the one that I I asked him to build me something and he did a really awesome job but it needed to have Arial modified. So watch this. If I if I pick this, look at all the text. Nothing changes, right? But what I can do now I'm I'm going into the weeds here because this is not really where I wanted to take this. But so here's chief defaulted um labeling and I really don't care for that so I think since this is a new plan I'm going to have to go to CAD text text macro management yeah I don't have it here so I'm going to have to go import superscript openings open OK and then I can go here and do label, specify label, delete that, macro, user defined, superscript opening. Look at that. See that? It's going to be 3068. That's how I've always seen plans as a framer. And then what I want to add to that is the hinge side. And so if your back was against here, your right arm would swing up there. So I'm going to go, um, I happen to know this because I've, I've looked this up, hinge underscore side. And it's going to say right, and that's what it is. Your spine is here, you're facing this way, and your right arm swings out. So there's that. And if I were to copy and paste that over here and then change the swing, it becomes left. And if I change the size of the door, I don't think there's such a thing as a 2.5. I mean, you can make it, but 30 inch door 2.6, 2668. And you can do the same thing for the windows because some people might think that's 28 but it's not so we're going to go to label specify get rid of this insert 
user defined superscript okay and there you go 2840 and uh, anyway so what I want to show now is you go to text and you've got this aerial or aerial modified it doesn't matter centered and we're going to go to the macro window uh, global room info we're going to start with room name so there's your room name we're going to hit enter and then we're going to go to the macro we're going to go um, global room info room dimensions then we're going to go macro global room info uh, ceiling height we're going to make those like this that's six inches up there so we'll make this like four inches we'll hit enter and see how it says unspecified so we can change all this now if we want this to be all caps we can go like this and do all caps we can add CLG CLG and hit OK then we're gonna specify this room as living so let's go there living hit OK boom oh and you know what that uh, the main one the default one it came on also I don't know if you saw that let me let me show you this box was checked if I check this box you're gonna see Chiefs default and then I always like to delete that and I like to use my own because I'm gonna make this watch this we're gonna make this garage hit OK uh, yeah I, I left the checkbox now watch this just take this copy paste boom now the problem is um, nobody's used to seeing the height that's the exact height for a nine foot ceiling nine foot one and eight so there's a couple things I'd like to change and uh, let me look this up really quick screenshots yeah here we go here's um, here's what I was thinking this is existing and this is what I would like so Alaskan Sun has already made me the uh, window and door superscript and I'm pretty sure he's probably already worked this out or probably if he hasn't it's something that he can definitely do um, I would like to just have it like this 12 9 so I know that it's 12 foot 9 I don't have to have the feet and inches and then um, the ceiling height can just be rounded to the nearest whole foot like in this instance um, yeah I have this wrong this should be nine foot I wonder if I can edit a PNG I doubt it anyway so if this said uh, 121 and an eighth it needs to read it needs to convert from inches into feet and inches but actually just feet so I don't know what that's gonna look like but that is something I would pay for so that way then I can mod I can control the name of the room I can come in here and I can call this um, shop and e and I pick garage because it's gonna default to concrete slab but I control the name and in rich text I control the font so if somebody wants um, I don't know. What if they want chief blueprint? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they do. I can go like that. Um, I want that kind of control. But then the actual output data is how I would like to see what we were just looking at. Like this. So I'm going to send him an email and find out if that's something he can do and how much it's going to cost and I'll get back with you. But hit, go on Chief Talk and search up Alaskan Sun and contact a guy because if you're using Chief, he makes some of the best um, automation macros that will save you time and money. So that's the end of this one. And... Uh, 
come visit us over at CAD 911 because I'm working with Mr. Larry Belk and he has a lot of very uh, intelligent and influential friends that are going to come on and showcase what they're doing so that we can build a network of people wanting to help solve problems for people. So that's CAD 911. And uh, thanks for watching.